What up, everybody? It's your boy, Manifest Chris Sabian, and I'm back with another video, man. Doing my nightly routine, you guys. I know everybody had their little own little special moments, you know what I'm saying, where they be doing their little nightly routine, washing their face and stuff like that. And uh, I just wanted to show y'all what I do. You see that little bump right there, man? I got to get rid of that, man, you know? That uh, that kind of like messed me up right there. Had me almost scared to do a video, but... I did a video anyways, you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing but a pimple. So we're going to start off with shaving first. Shaving my face, man. Getting it all clear. Getting that hair off my face. You got that uh, 12 o'clock shadow, as people would say. You know, it's, uh, I shave. I, to be honest, guys, I really don't shave like that. You know what I'm saying? I usually just let my hair grow out and then go get a haircut, obviously. You know what I'm saying? But um, since I'm doing the way boy thing again. I thought I would just, you know, shave my face, try to keep my face clear as possible because the hair, that's what brings bumps to my face, I believe. Um, when I'm not washing my face properly, the hair gets dirty and, you know, so on and so on. But, anywho, you know what I mean? Um, after I got done shaving my face, you know what I'm saying, making it look as clear as possible, you know, don't look the same. Um... I got right to it and started doing my face routine. You know, getting the hair off my chest, making sure it look all good, look all decent. Hair, the hair ain't piled up nowhere, you know. Checking it out. We, we good to go. So this is what I use for the for my uh, face. Um, it is the best thing ever. It's not Zima, guys. It is the best face scrub, face wash, whatever you want to call it. That's the best one to use. Man, when I tell you it works miracles, like your bumps will be gone, like almost the next day. You know, so you can tell, like, okay, this bump is getting ready to go away. So you can either do it with a dry face, or you can do it with a hot rag because that's what open up your pores, that hot, that heat, that steam. And I just wetted my shirt right there. <laughs> with a whole bunch of water just fell down on my shirt, so now my shirt is wet. But uh, yeah, um, the hot steam that's what open up your pores. Uh, get your face all hot and ready to wash, you know, get all those eye burgers out your eyes, you know what I'm saying? Make sure to dust out your beard and get that Noxzema ready, man. So, as you can see, that smile on my face, man, I like putting stuff on my face, you know what I'm saying? Because that, when you put it on there, it's like a instant cool sensation, you know what I'm saying? It's instant. And then, out of nowhere, it just gets, like, not not hot, but almost like a tingling feeling you know so um and that's when you can tell like it, it's working because it only give that tingling feeling in certain areas like uh i know one area mainly be on my cheek you know what i'm saying and um where another one usually be probably like on the side of my temple but uh yeah where, wherever you feel those I believe wherever you feel that tingling feeling that, that's where your face is like dirty the most or is activating the most, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Noxzema is good. It's been around for a super long time. Like, it's been around for a long time. My uh, my wife, she the one who actually put me on um, Noxzema. When I first met her, she was using it and uh, I was asking her, like, it didn't have, it don't have no smell to it or anything, guys. That's, like, the best thing about it. But I was asking her, and I was like, what are you using to wash your face? Because your face is always so clear. And she told me, she was like, not Zima, you know? And I was like, okay, shoot. I'm going to have to try that out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get a clear face, too. But, and I don't really get acne anymore. Um, it may be a bump, like, every three weeks or so. And if I don't get on it, I know another one is coming right behind it you know what I'm saying <laughs> that's usually how it goes with my acne you know I know another one usually coming right behind it but I'm gonna get in the shower man and I'll catch y'all in a minute so I'm back man I'm back uh just got out of the shower fresh out the shower guys um brushing my hair about to start my hair routine everything I do at night time with my hair uh I brush it y'all see that rock don't ignore that rock man I see that rock on my arm but uh, I brush my hair for about 20 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes every night, you know what I'm saying? Just to 
get to lay down. And um, the thing I'm about to show y'all, man, it's expensive, but it works. All right. It's called uh, Pillow Soft Curls. I can't see who that's by, but it works really, really good. If you got curly hair, this is the product I would prefer to use. Um, if you're trying to get curls, this is the product that I prefer to use. If you're trying to get soft hair, if you want your hair really soft, this is the product I prefer you to use. Um, it's a creamy product. Once you um, rub it in, it goes away. Uh, put it in your hair. And it's going to immediately hit those curls, hit those soft spots to where uh, your hair just feels amazing after you get done putting it on. Next thing I use is my 360 style grease, of course. That's the original, you know, um, hair grease that if you're trying to get waves. Go ahead and throw some of that in your hair. You know what I'm saying? Now this right here, it's more of a it's more of a thick substance. Now, me personally, I believe this is good for laying your hair down. You know what I'm saying? If you want your hair to stay in a certain spot, then use this 360 grease, guys. It's really good for your hair. It's really good for when you're trying to get waves. As y'all can see through the video, it's helping my waves out. You know, I haven't, I don't have the whole uh, 360 yet. That's why I keep brushing in the back and the sides, you know, because I want to get everything even and around in the circle. It may not be there till I get another haircut, you know, uh, but um, it's all about training your hair, guys. Training your hair to lay a certain way, whichever way you want to brush your hair. Brush your hair like that all the time. Don't switch it up because then you'll be confusing your hair. Like, okay, do you want me to lay this way or that way? Brushing my beard. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man, train your hair the way you want it to be. And it, I promise you, it'll get there as long as you keep trying. You know what I'm saying? You got to keep brushing every day. Brush, brush, brush. And you'll, you'll see the results. So, as I put on my, um, as I put on my do-rag, I try to make sure my do-rag is tight as possible because I don't want my hair. The thing I got my do-rag on and my hair is just like still all over the place, you know? So I always try to keep a do-rag on. I don't keep my do-rag on all the time, you know what I'm saying? But uh, when I do, I do, you feel me? So, and most people be like, man, you shouldn't wear your do-rag that way you should. Uh, close the flap in the back or let the flap hang. Y'all let me know which one I'm supposed to do. I'm gonna do the one I want to do anyway, but let me know. They say it's a certain way you're supposed to wear your do-rag. Like, man, get out of here with that, bro. And as y'all can see, I'm using the peroxide to, uh, that ain't even that word. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that word, but anyways, um, it got perox, it got, uh, baking soda in it. I know that much. I said peroxide, but it got baking soda in it. You know what I'm saying? I'm all ton time, man. It's nighttime. I, I gotta get to bed. So after I get done brushing my teeth, man, you know what I'm saying? I used to go lay with my baby. So peace out. <laughs>